hello everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel now in this video we will learn how to draw this diagram that is visible on your screen okay so in this diagram we will be starting from center of uh, any circle and then we will proceed forward now take a look we are going to start with this particular circle okay then uh, we will be uh, drawing this circle first then outer circle then if we observe closely this diagram is symmetrical about a perpendicular axis so first we will create the left half then we will create a mirror image to make the right half and after that we are going to draw these arcs or these circles so uh, without further delay let's move to AutoCAD screen so we are going to start from the left circle and uh, let's take the starting point as 10 comma uh, sorry 20 comma 20 so first select circle or you can simply press C and then enter now we need to specify the starting point so I'm giving starting point as 20 comma 20 now this is the starting point that we have specified now what we need to do is uh, we will have to specify the uh, center or the diameter of the uh, sorry center and diameter or center and radius or center and radius for uh, the circle so radius of this circle is uh, 10 units okay so just write 10 and then press enter after that what is the radius of outer circle so outer circle is of radius 17 okay so uh, we have two options here one is uh, we can uh, simply create circle by using center and radius another method is we can create an offset so click on offset now offset distance is 7 units click on the object and click outside and you will get the outer circle now after that we need to draw the line on the left side as well as line that is uh, perpendicular or that is vertically upwards so let's draw a line starting from this particular point now what is what should be the length of this line it should be 84 units okay at an angle 0 okay so uh, we can do uh, one thing we can simply press uh, at the rate now 84 is the length and angle should be 0 and press enter now we have got the center for uh, the right side circle okay after that this line is also a center of another circle of radius 25 so select circle using center and radius specify the center point and then specify the radius as 25 and press enter one method is this now in this one we have created the complete circle so we'll have to use trim command click on trim and then remove the non required portion and our diagram will be created okay another method is you can use uh, arc so let's undo this now go to arc you know center and you know the radius so go to arc will specify starting point center point and end point so start center and end so we need an arc starting from this point now center should, should be the center of this uh, line of 80 84 uh, length so this is the center now while specifying the end we will see that this particular arc is being formed in the direction that is exactly opposite to what we need so we can place it here and then we can create a mirror image another option is you can press control and this complete direction will be reverted so take a look press control and take a look the direction is reverted now click and done so we have created the arc now make sure these edges are uh, properly uh, joined okay after that the next thing that we need to do is we need to draw this vertical line so what is the uh, length of this vertical line we will check from uh, the required drawing so it's 90 units okay so select line or press L L and enter now this is our starting point now length of this line so it is 90 and angle is also 90 
and press enter so just take a look now we have uh, got this line the next thing is we need to uh, draw two circle here now one circle is of radius 11 that is outer circle and inner circle is of radius that is 5 units so basically radius is 11 so either we can uh, go to 11 units in this direction or we can simply go for uh, 22 units at zero angle and then simply press enter now we will draw another circle using two point option so select the first point and the second point so these two points are the end points of the diameter of a circle okay after that we need a smaller circle of radius 5 so using center and radius we will insert another circle then we will delete the non required portion now after that the next thing that we need to do is we need to remove uh, basically we need to provide trim here not trim fillet here so select fillet command and specify fillet radius as 12 units and press enter now specify this as the first line and this one as the second line so we have created this roundness here okay next thing that we need is we need to create a mirror image exactly opposite copy of this on the right side so how we are going to do that so uh, select mirror command select the objects that you want to mirror okay so we do not want to mirror this one but we want to mirror all of these so select them press enter and specify mirror line as the central line and click ok now you do not want to erase the source object so click no now we have created this half of this image uh, basically we need two more circle here and then we will uh, remove the non required portions whatever there are so let's remove this line first now we need to remove uh, these two curves as well uh, these two uh, sections as well so click on trim and then remove these portions that we do not need now after that we need to circle here this one and a circle that is touching both of them now if you uh, take a closer look basically radius is given but the center is not given for uh, these uh, two circles here okay so the option that we are going to select is 10 10 and radius so click on 10 10 and radius now radius of this lower tangent circle is 50 units okay so click on this tangent now the sign that you are seeing on this circle is of tangent sign if this is not visible you can turn it on from this uh, object snap option from uh, these options so tangent is activated here so you can turn it on from here if it is not visible so we have uh, selected the first tangent target and this is the second tangent target now we need to specify the radius so radius is 50 units press enter and take a look the circle is formed now we'll trim the non required portion so this is the portion that we do not need so we are going to remove this now after that the next circle that we need is the circle that is formed at the upper end so again the same option we are going to use using uh, 10 10 and radius so this is our tangent this is our second tangent and what's the radius radius this time just take a look in the diagram this radius is 48 units so click on 48 and press enter and upper circle is also formed and we will trim the non required portion from here now once we are done trimming this the next thing that we need to do is we will uh, draw the central circle here now central circle if you will take a look it's exactly uh, 48 units below this particular line so start from here now we need to go for uh, 48 units downward 48 and press enter then just draw this line of any length press enter repeat the same line start from here 
and join this now we know that we know that the circle is at the center of this line so we are going to remove these two lines now what's the radius of this circle center is this point and radius is 12 units so write 12 and then press enter and then we can remove these lines that we do not need now the outline of our diagram is complete the next thing that we need to do is we need we need to uh, basically uh, fill this particular portion using hatch command so click on hatch or you can simply type hatch and you will see that an option of hatch editor is opened the next thing that you need to do is you need to simply click on any internal point and this pattern you can change from here so whatever hatch pattern we need we can select it from here and our diagram will be formed now suppose that uh, this is the only option or uh, there is any option that is available and we just want to change the pattern of that okay so let's select this one as well this one itself now we have selected this hatch but uh, if you will take a closer look what we are seeing is uh, it is simply a solid color so we can uh, change all of these patterns and uh, all of these options that are available from here uh, from here itself okay now just try to increase these uh, line gaps and you will see that whatever we need they are easily available okay and once you are done you can simply click on close hatch creation and uh, your hatch is created now what we need here okay there is a mistake that we have made here basically uh, this before this hatch there was another circle that we needed that circle uh, was starting from this center itself okay so select center and radius specify this center as the center and then radius should be 42 units and press enter okay and we'll trim this non required portion from here now what we need to do uh, basically we will uh, specify the hatch we will fill this particular portion and click close hatch creation so this is our drawing now if this particular uh, uh, coordinate system if this is creating a problem simply click on it and keep your cursor until this becomes red and then you can move it anywhere you want now suppose that we want uh, the area of this particular hatched uh, hatched uh, pattern okay what is the total area of this pattern so there is a command that you can use simply type list and then press enter now click on the hatch and press enter and you will see that all of the pattern uh, all of the properties of this this hatch is available to you okay so this is the scale after that this is the area of hatch now I have not specified any units so if uh, you have used units as millimeters it will be in millimeter square if it was inches it will be inch square so this is how you create this particular diagram now after that we are going to place uh, all the required dimensions so if some things are not visible to you you can simply turn this uh, snap mode on and then you can specify dimensions whatever you want to let's repeat the same angular command now whatever uh, you need you uh, can simply place using these dimension options so click on radius then specify the fillet radius repeat dim radius now dim radius is the command if you want to type you can simply type dim radius
just make sure these circles are selected when when you uh, select this dim radius command now this is basically it should be somewhere here I repeat the same command specify radius of this one specify the radius of uh, this particular circle then specify the radius of this circle as well okay so I think we are done with all of uh, the radiuses now what we need to do is we need to uh, change the color of this dimension so that it does not create confusion with the drawing so right click on any dimension and select similar so all the dimensions that you have placed using the uh, using one command they will be selected now select the remaining using again select similar option now go to properties toolbar and change their color to uh, whatever color you want to suppose that I'm making this color as uh, let's select red color for this one okay so this is how you can create this particular diagram and I hope uh, you guys uh, learned something new and you enjoyed watching this video so thank you very much and have a nice day